I'm Keith Olbermann and this is The Resistance. Is it possible Trump is preparing to acknowledge that he and his presidential campaign interacted with the Russians before the election, but then to literally claim there was nothing illegal about doing so? The doomsday defense. Something comes out soon, something definitive and not arguable. A leak, a recording, an indictment about collusion, cooperation, coordination. It doesn't matter what. Something establishing as fact that there was contact and unable to deny it, Trump will simply declare there is no law against it. The ability to turn on a dime, to contradict himself utterly and completely and act as if he had always believed that which he had denied an hour ago is one of Trump's few genuine skills. Russia? I had nothing to do with Russia. Oh, that Russia. Of course we did that with Russia. So what? It's not illegal. And he has already just done something like this. He's already done something like this about Russia. As if just last week, he would not accept that the Russians had tried to interfere. He called it, all of it, a hoax. But as soon as he saw an opening by which he could blame Barack Obama and by which he could also get his own supporters to feel more of the common sense of persecution that sustains him and them, he tweeted as fact that the Russians had meddled in the election and he used forms of the word meddling five separate times in four days. That is the template for the doomsday defense. And the doomsday defense simply is... Oh, that? Sure he did that, but that's not illegal. Twice in three days, Trump defenders have already said this. I never understood it anyway, said Trump's principal apologist, Sean Hannity, on Friday the 23rd. I know, this could apply to almost anything in life. Sean conveniently then specified which thing he never understood this time. What was the collusion? That maybe somebody in the Trump campaign talked to somebody in Russia because Russia supposedly had the information that Hillary Clinton had destroyed on her server and that they might say as the Trump campaign representative, wow, you have that? Tell the American people the truth. Let them see it themselves. Release it. Is that a crime to say release it? To show the truth? To show damaging information? Well... Yeah, actually, if you've asked the Russian government to cyber attack Americans or you're aware of Russian espionage against America and you didn't do anything to stop it, especially if this was done by them in exchange for something, yes, that probably would be a crime. But that's not even the point at the moment. The point is that Hannity described, quote, somebody in the Trump campaign who talked to the Russians and that they might say as a Trump campaign representative, wow, you have that? Hannity has neither the intelligence nor the imagination to have dreamt up that phrasing by himself. He is floating a trial lead balloon. Two days after that, a former journalist, Britt Hume, also tried it on Fox. Collusion, while it obviously would be alarming and highly inappropriate for the Trump campaign, of which there is no evidence, by the way, of colluding with the Russians, it's not a crime. This is literally almost the same thing as saying, of course Trump's not guilty. But if he is, as I noted at the time, this started a month ago with an obscure Fox News host named Greg Jarrett. The last time Greg Jarrett had made headlines, it was when he was caught on tape fighting cops at a Minnesota airport on the way back from rehab. There may have been a few bloggers who preceded him, but on May 23rd, Jarrett seems to have been the first to mainstream the perfect Fox defense. Of course Trump never even conspired with the Russians. Never, ever. But if he did, why, it wouldn't be illegal. A week later, he went on the air with this. Collusion is not a crime, only an antitrust law. You can collude all you want with a foreign government in an election. There's no such statute. His premise did not resonate. Jarrett is technically correct. Trump cannot be charged with collusion. He also cannot be charged with contusion, confusion, or conclusion. They're not investigating him for any of that. The instructions from the Justice Department to Robert Mueller were straightforward. The special counsel, wrote Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein in his letter appointing Mueller, is authorized to conduct the investigation, including any links and or coordination between the Russian government and individuals associated with the campaign of President Donald Trump and any matters that arose or may arise directly from the investigation. 
As PolitiFact noted, no, Mueller can't charge anybody for collusion. But Trump and his gang could be cited for fraud, public corruption, conspiracy, and soliciting illegal foreign campaign contributions that Mueller reportedly may have reason to investigate a $285 million Deutsche Bank loan to Jared Kushner's company while Deutsche Bank was being investigated for allowing a Russian money laundering scheme, or the fact that Mueller added to his team the head of the DOJ's criminal fraud division, Andrew Weissman, adds a financial dimension to the investigation against Trump and or his people, particularly since Weissman once helped to flip the Russian-born businessman Felix Sater and as Mother Jones magazine so adroitly put it, Sater went on to become a confidential informant for the FBI and a Trump business partner. Now, if there proves to be evidence that there was more than coordination between the campaign and the Russians, like a quid pro quo for policy changes favoring Russia at America's expense, say, then the possible charges could be as serious as espionage and treason. But collusion? Nope. Trump is absolutely, positively not guilty of collusion. And even if he is, collusion's not illegal. That's if he were guilty of it, which he's not, never in a million years. But just in case they produce a tape of him doing it while he's saying it's fun to collude with Russians, or there's a confession from Michael Flynn or something, just remember, Trump is still not guilty because it's not illegal, and he didn't do it, and it's not a crime. And most of all, he didn't ever do it. And even if he did, it's not a crime. Resist. Peace.